Welcome to the channel, everybody. This is an unboxing of my brand new helmet, Carbon F3 from Climb. Uh, it's my 2024 race season motocross helmet I'm gonna be using. And uh, this helmet is super lightweight. We're gonna go through the procedure and processes of uh, custom paint on this helmet. Uh, initially, I unboxed it or whatever, and, and then taking off all the foam and everything and, and all the uh, inserts, getting it ready for paint. We're sanding it with 400. I have a little DA. My friend Marvin and Chris Hubbard helped me out a lot with some uh, body shop stuff and ideas and help on these helmets. So uh, just, just a shout out to them. Sanding everything down, trying to get rid of all the high sides on the helmet so you can't feel any of those orange stripes. That visor has a lot of off uh, set like stripes. You can feel how high they are. This is fully sanded with 400. I am doing a half pearl white and half silver right now, water base from Createx. That's pearl white. And then like diagonally, it's gonna be half silver. I'm gonna do a couple different things heavy metal flake on the silver part and I'm using an Audubon sealer to, to flow the flake on. By the way, if you haven't used metal flake before, this is very hard to spray out of a gun. I'm using a cheap gun that I bought off Amazon. It's uh, got a 2.0 tip in it and I used two types of flake. One of them went and spray through, so I ended up using a very small flake. I learned that too, there's different size flakes. So this, uh, I'm spraying the flake on. You can't see much, but it's going on. I mix the flake into the uh, Audubon sealer, kind of like as a, um, in a coat clear. Then I clear the whole helmet because I know I have to sand this thing down because the flake is very raised. You can feel it. So I wet sand the whole helmet after I cleared it a day after with 1000 and uh, trying out this, um, from Montana Gold, I'm trying this uh, effect here. It's a crackle effect. You gotta buy their proper spray can and the crackle can. So you can pick any of their colors they have. It's just gotta be adaptable to that crackle. You do the coats of color and then you spray the crackle over it once and it crackles, it's pretty wild. So I did that and then we're taping off some stripes to kind of break it up. I figured I'd use some uh, fluorescent pink. I've been into the fluorescent pink lately. Try to get this helmet to pop quite a bit. So I did the stripe up top and the back. I'm gonna try to do like a tie-dye thing. You can see how I did this. And um, freehanding this with an airbrush was very tough for me. It's a first time effort. Uh, not really good at it, but we're starting with multiple colors going round and round. This is what I got. It kind of looks too loud to me, so I'm gonna uh, change it up. But as I do this, I continue to lay out other things like my number. All these numbers and all the, uh, the cutouts on this helmet, I hand cut myself. I was trying to do it all myself. I probably got like 40 hours plus into this helmet. Not all at once, obviously, like four hour stints here and there. Uh, so now we're undoing the, the um, numbers. I did a like teal color with some like purple in the middle and then a black uh, shadow, a drop shadow on it on both sides. One side of this helmet is gonna be, or most of this helmet is gonna be graffiti. And one side is gonna be silhouettes or pictures of my two daughters in goth. And you'll see how I go through to that. So we cleared it again just to lock in all that artwork so I don't have any um, oopsies. You can remove it with uh, acetone if you do, but here it is, wet sanding with 1000 wet sand again until I get down to like, get rid of all the high spots on all the lines, all the tape lines. And um, right there, I was doing a uh, effect with Dawn dish soap where you squiggle it on top and then spray paint or paint on top of it. I use the uh, solvent-based paint for that because you can't use water-based, obviously, because you gotta wash it off. The soap washes off and you have that effect. On this point, we're doing graffiti parts. 
uh, from my two favorite graffiti art artists. This one is Doak, this is his tag, and that's Rasco. Um, they're both over in Europe, I believe, but I follow them on Instagram, YouTube, you name it. Uh, they're my favorite graffiti artist. I'm really into graffiti. Uh, not that I do it, I just love, I'm mesmerized and I love watching it being done. And uh, I just can't understand how they do it. So here I'm, I'm uh, doing the outline of my daughter's faces. It's gonna be their faces to their shoulders. One of my kids, the one on the left, Moira, she's gonna have like a devil, satanic, look to her and then Gabby's on the right she's gonna be a sugar skull uh, first time ever doing this and like I'm just learning so you don't have to uh, worry this is not the proper way but I'm doing it and it's getting done I'm not a pro at this like I said just uh, trying new things this helmet is a, a very large experiment for me I got a lot of things going on I got the crackle paint the metal flake I got uh, facial uh, art going on and then uh, on the back I decided to add some more graffiti and I'm using all the local Boston graffiti stuff that I've seen around I think uh, hoax is the designer of that one with the alien I'm sure you've seen it going into Boston around like the bridgeways and stuff and then that the crying ghost I always see those so I figured I'd do some like uh, cartoonish pictures of stuff that I've seen and along with a couple others Pisa and uh, who else did I, I put on there but um this is it cleared locked it all in I did most of that water base marker zoom zooms the other one and uh, I don't know I'm very happy with the way this has come out so far that's first coat of clear locking everything in I did the vents pink right there on the front and the back. A lot of detail. All right, uh, my helmet is done. And of course I rushed the clear coat. Unfortunately, people don't show these things, but I'm gonna because uh, it is necessary. But I put on three coats of clear and um, I had a run. Unfortunately, I didn't wait for it to tack up. I don't know if you can see that run right there. You can see it in the camera. That like long probably about an inch long so we're gonna try to uh, take that down I've never done this but we're gonna use a razor blade you tape off the edges like that leave a little spot in there and you scrape it uh, away <laughs> like get the run down as low as you can and then we're gonna sand it with a thousand with a block and then with 1500 then we're gonna sand it with 3000 and we're gonna try to get rid of this so you can't see it you really can't see it anyway because it's a metal flake but I'm just being picky and learning experience for me and you so we'll do that then we'll buff it with compound and polish and we'll see how it goes Stay tuned. all right so we razored it I don't know if you can see where it's dull above the the B. It goes up there and then that whole area. I took it all down. Actually, I think that's gonna come out really good. Uh, note before I did this, I already had clear under this set of this um, coat of clear coat from the previous part. So anyway, I shaved it all down to the feel so I can't really feel it. Now I'm gonna sand it. Uh, wet sand would have locked 1000. And then we're gonna go to 1500 wet sand and then 3000 and then cut with compound and then polish. So let's see how this comes out. saw the process right I think I did pretty damn good I can't see it I don't know super shiny my daughter's name Gabby Gabs so that was the process of my oopsie this is me assembling the lid 
the visor and everything and the whole interior. I'm gonna post some pictures after this of the final result along with this little rotisserie one. Like and subscribe to the channel, please. And uh, I'll keep you posted if I have more helmets and I do actually, so I will be doing a couple more. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe and we'll catch you at the next. Later.